I suppose part of the fun of buying something secondhand is just there being a little mystery behind it, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that take that. And take, for example, <laughs> a vintage camera recently purchased at an estate sale with a roll of film still inside. Remember film? This doesn't look like a phone at all. I don't understand. <laughs> the camera's new owner had to find out what was on that film, and so did our Tim Pamplin. An exact of VX2A, 1957, made in the USSR. 19-year-old Thomas Delger knows a thing or two about cameras and photography. He's been an avid collector for many years. And then at an estate sale recently. And then? Yes, he found this. The Argus C3, built in Ann Arbor. And nowadays, quite a collector's item. The one he found at the estate sale cost him $20. Had a roll of film inside. Absolutely nothing. So he let the film dry and... I turned on my phone flashlight and held it up and looked really close. Some very faint images started to appear on the film as he scanned them into his computer and enhanced them, initially thinking it was a ceiling fan. Like, okay, that's not a fan blade, it's a helicopter rotor. I looked at the shape of the helicopter and I realized I saw that helicopter before, I know what that's from. He had seen this picture taken by his grandmother 50 years ago when she took her daughter, Tommy's mum, to Eisenhower High School where President Nixon was dedicating the new building. I don't remember seeing Nixon. I don't even think I knew what was going on, but I remember the loud noise of the helicopters. Thomas started looking very closely at the images on the film, and then he made the startling discovery. And if you match this up with the Super 8 footage, it's the same wave, so that is undoubtedly Richard Nixon. Like, you're never gonna believe what he found. And I said, wow, that is very, very cool. And he was so excited. So whenever he's excited, that of course makes a parent excited. Yes, a young man's passion for photography and cinematography pays off with a little bit of history. Thomas is heading off tomorrow to Georgia. He's gonna study film and television arts down in Savannah. Good luck to him. That is the scene in Macomb Township tonight with a night cam. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.